Hello again. Now you may remember that I bought this rather beat up 102 at a recent fair. Apparently the motor's a bit bust, so the seller told me. So I'm just going to quickly take the motor out and see if I can get it running. My first old needle. One possibility is that there's just a needle stuck in the motor somewhere causing a problem. Right, well I think that demonstrates that I know nothing about taking a 102 to pieces. Most of the uh, paper diagram for oiling actually remains, which is interesting. A bit of it's actually attached itself to the bottom, the bottom of the horn, so I might be able to sort that out. There's a few loose needles, in fact quite a lot of loose needles in there. See what we can pick up. Well, that's by no means all of them, but that's certainly some of them. So the motor is a, a two one, sorry, a two seven one hyphen D by the looks of it. Definitely does show a little bit of sign of life. Nothing obviously wrong with that. I mean, obviously I've not wound it or anything. Although I struggle to get the tone arm out, it does actually seem to just pop out. I don't really want to take that bit off there because I think there's a there's a distinct possibility there's ball bearings in there and that could get very messy. Right. Quite a good action on that though. That feels pretty good. I have to admit that I'm used to cheaper gramophones which seem to be put together more simply. I mean that is quite an impressive horn really. And there it is. Well, there's no obvious sign of any damage. I think for starters, we'll just put a bit of WD-40 on it. Now WD-40 isn't really oil, it's a solvent and a cleaner, and it can help things go. But this really needs to be properly stripped and, uh, and oiled. Seems to be taking wines okay. I 
nothing really obviously wrong there. Bit of vibration when I let it run at uh, completely full speed, which you probably wouldn't do anyway. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of vibration when I let it run at full speed and in fact I think the governor wakes actually hit the frame at a sort of normal record sort of speed it's not terrible certainly there's no obvious sign there's a problem with the spring I can't see any damage on the gears either but then I'm only giving it a little bit of a look as it's turning. Well on the face of it I think that just needs a good service. I can't really see anything wrong with it. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments. Okay well I think I'm going to have to leave it there for the moment. Servicing this is going to have to wait for another video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and bye for now.